Okay, so in this one here, we want to determine the angle theta for equilibrium. <coughs> We also given the unstretched length So we have a rod which is six feet long and it's pin let's say at point A and then you have a spring at point B. Now <coughs> before if you look at the original shape it was horizontal and then you had the spring attached to one end then you had the pin. So that's the original shape And after that, you applied the weight, which is 200 pounds, and then you applied a couple at the point A as 100 pound feet. And this thing changed its shape, came down, and the new shape looks like this. So there is a stressed part of the spring, which is about this much, and let's call this as delta S. So I said that was the original shape and this is the deformed shape and the whole thing is in equilibrium under the weight as well as the applied couple. So we need to find the angle theta which would be an angle right at this point. So the first thing we need to do is to draw the free body diagram and what you will get is this thing is here like this. You have a pin at point A so that should give two unknown forces as AX and AY. Then you have the <coughs> weight acting here that's going to be another 200 pounds. <coughs> then you look at the spring. See the spring is for example is here and then I'm going to assume that the spring to be in tension so the both ends is going to be a force some unknown force let's call this as Fs and Fs. So the point, the spring is attached, you should have another force with the exact same magnitude as Fs. So this force and this force will be of same magnitude, but they will be in opposite direction. <coughs> then you got the angle theta, then you have the length here, which is known as 3 feet, then you have another length here plus another three feet. So that's what you get as the free body diagram for the rod AB. Now what we really need is the angle theta. So I can sum the moments about point A and that should add up to zero. Now in addition to this there will be the couple which is going to be 100 pound feet. So if I want to sum the moments about point A, the first thing I going to see is this couple here and that's going to be 100 and it's in the clockwise direction and I'm going to take the counterclockwise couple as positive. So since this is being uh, the clockwise, 
So I can change this to counterclockwise and attach a negative sign. Then we need the moment of this force about point A. So the force by itself is 200. The perpendicular distance from point A is going to be all the way up to here. Let's call this as D. And from this triangle, D over 3 is going to be cosine theta. So your perpendicular distance T comes out to be 3 cosine theta. So you multiply this by 3 cosine theta. Again, <coughs> for this point, this force is going to produce a couple which goes <coughs> in the clockwise direction. And I want to change this to counterclockwise. So you attach another negative sign. <coughs> then we got the force here. So you have F as the distance from this point to this point. That's going to be the perpendicular distance. So you add, see this is theta, same angle as this. So this distance here will be same as this, and that will be 3 cosine theta. So <coughs> the total distance from point A, that should be 3 cosine theta plus 3 cosine theta. And about this point, this force should create a moment.